Okay, here's the 12 volt timer that I have set up for my 12 volt winter freezer, chest freezer in my boat. And this is how you wire it up. This is the source from the battery. Negative comes over here and you'll see that that's on the back side of that that says power negative positive and you split that you don't split it that you tap into it when you uh, put the connector on and I'll come to that in a moment positive comes over into the positive side of the feed okay this powers the switch switch is on right now it's working I have it all programmed and I'll get to that in a moment as well then you have a jumper that comes from the feed from the battery over to the switch to one side of the switch okay and then you have the positive out that goes to the freezer on over to the plug and the negative out to the freezer over to the plug so here we go the feed negative you split it goes to the sort goes to the to the unit positive comes over to the also positive negative jumper comes over to the switch it's labeled on the back side this is positive negative power this is positive switch and that's highlighted on the back and that is how you wire it up it's not very descriptive in the directions that you get with it okay so then I also have it set, uh, set up to where it has 16 selections in the time choices so selection one I have it come on at 6 a.m. To run for 40 minutes and then goes off for 20 comes on at 7 a.m. for 40 minutes comes on at 8 a.m. runs for 40 minutes goes off comes on at 9 a.m. etc all the way around the clock until 8 o'clock and then it runs for two hours straight till 10 o'clock and then it shuts off until 6 a.m. Thus far, saving myself about, my best guesstimate without doing the real math, is about 40% of the battery consumption that's normally used when this unit runs full time. So, anyway, that's what I got. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.